right, and that's a track from Lord. It's called The Royals, and it brings us to approximately 22 minutes away from 1 o'clock. If you just join me on the Dow, it's Brunch in the City. Of course, uh, with me, Jessica. Now, don't forget the show's on until 2 o'clock. And I promised before we went on that news break that I was going to be speaking to a very good friend and one of Nigeria's most popular comedians, Clint Stadrock. He joined me on air with Yes, you're welcome to brush in the city. That means everyone in the city, make sure you brush. Brush in the morning, brush everything, brush, your, brush your shoe, brush your mouth, especially because you have to greet people. You don't want to be a hazard to society. Brush in the city. Even in the village, you can, but at least there are lesser people in the village, so if you don't brush, you can only kill animals, which is good for us. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> okay, for starters, it's brunch. <laughs> uh, brunch is the process of brunch. Have you brunched today? Yes, I brunch in the morning and I will brush later. It is just terminology. <laughs> okay, if you say it is not the past tense, what is the past participle of bath? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you told me. How will I know? Uh. I'm asking you if I knew it. If I, I knew the answer, how would I be asking you the question? I don't know the answer. Okay, me too. So we're on the same level. <laughs> but you're the drunk one, not me. Hey, yes, which makes me more forgetful, like than you. Don't you know you are the one? You you want to reward? Mm -hmm. Two awards. Reward and award. What's the big difference? Both of them has a award. Uh -huh. What are the awards done? Good. Uh, what did you win an award for? Is you not know, asking questions and answering, uh, asking answers? Uh, no, uh -huh. not really. Okay. <laughs> now that means I have my facts confused. Maybe. Exactly. You see why I'm drunk? <laughs> All the time? Well, once the meter starts running, I enter drunk mode activator. <laughs> okay. So, Clint. <clears throat> I mean, how many times have you been in Ghana? Okay, let me clear my throat to you. <clears throat> Time without number. Time. I come to Ghana a lot because this is a town that I was born in. You were born in Ghana? Yes, in some of the dreams, I was born in Ghana. But in reality, my mother gave to me in a hospital that is on Ghana Street in Nigeria. I don't know how true that statement is. Issuing a disclaimer now. I don't care. All I know is that I have to say something in this video statement. <laughs> so you're saying it? Yes. All right. So what are you doing in Ghana? Good. Right now I am sitting down in Ghana in this wonderful radio station. I'm facing you. Guess is Jack is Jack is um, Sajik. Uh, <laughs> you. I'm sitting in front of you, and we're talking. That's what I'm doing now in Ghana. Ah, oh, right. So when you're done with this? I will leave here. Then go away. I will lie in room. Am I, can I tell the future? <laughs> can you tell the future? Oh. What is this world coming to? Who can tell the future? Well, let's pray to God. You, you know what the future will tell. How does it feel like always being drunk? Believe me, it's a feeling you don't want to experience. It depends on what you're drunk in. Sometimes it feels good to be drunk in the Holy Spirit. But if the Spirit is not holy and it's alcoholic, well, it feels good for a short while. Then when you drive, it doesn't feel so good because you will hear a big sound. Then when you wake up and the alcohol clears from your eyes and you see part of your body hanging, your hand, your leg, your kidney, and your liver hanging in various areas, you realize that the pain you're going through is more terrible than the alcohol you took. That's what I keep telling people. I don't say you should not drink and drive. You can drink and drive. Mm. Yes. I, I, but don't drive drunk. <laughs> I, I always say that if you're going to drink, drink plenty so you can't find your car. Don't drink and drive. Believe me, <laughs> believe me, there are men that drink plenty and they are, they will find their car. Easy. They will easily find their car. Because all these scientists have messed everything up. 
They just press a button, the car will start blowing alarm. They follow the sound, and that is all they'll follow. Everything, the sound, they'll just follow the sound. Find the car, drive the car, and follow the sound, and jam other cars that are blowing on. Ah. Yes, they just follow the sound. But the truth is this. I keep telling, I keep saying, they say don't drink and drive. I can drink. Then I will drive. There is no crime in that. But drinking under the influence is where there's a problem. Depending on what the influence is. It might be influence of weed. It can be influence of alcohol. It can be influence of a nagging wife or a very horrible husband. It can be influence of a dirty slap from a mobile policeman. <laughs> Believe me, everything is an influence. Mm. Once you are under the influence of something, don't drive. Because you can end up driving people crazy. So what, what kind of influence are you under? I am under the influence of cash. Cash? Mm. You have too much of it. No, once they pay me, I go into the influence. I don't even go under. I don't go under anything. I go into the influence. And what does it make you do? It makes me make money. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gents, I'm talking to Clint the Drunk, Nigerian comedian. <laughs> I, I managed to pull him off the street. I was like, ah, oh, dude, you're in town. Come talk to me. Come talk. <laughs> so, Check that. Uh -huh. Say the truth. I should say the truth about you just said it. But I pulled you off the street. You did I? not pull me off the street. <laughs> okay. You pulled me away from the street. Chai. Yes. <laughs> what were you doing there to start with? Let's talk. I don't even know which street <laughs> I was pulled off. I don't live Lagos there. Avenue. Lagos I Avenue. Lagos. I no wonder I was finding my way home. <laughs> I saw Lagos. I entered the street. <laughs> Clint! So, is this how you talk all the time? Sometimes. Sometimes I talk like this all the time. Sometimes. So, what does your mother think about you? She's happy when I talk like this because she knows once she hears her son talk this way, money is coming. Money is coming. I'm Nigerian. I'm sorry I talk about money like this because that is what Nigerians, in fact, if you look at the whole it, if you look at the whole it, if you look at the whole it, oh, that's a problem. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. City FM. My technician's on the ground, I swear. <laughs> oh, man. So remember, this interview is live on YouTube. It's streaming live. You can go to youtube.com forward slash City FM videos. And yes. not only do you get to hear Clint, you see him as well. That's true. If you go there and you watch us at the end of the interview, your data is finished. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're sitting behind your post work. Yes, and immediately after that, you get a query from your boss. Who finished the data? <laughs> so, so, so tell me, I mean, apart from uh, comedy, is there something else that you do? Yes. A little bird tells me that you do some really great art. I studied a fine art in school, but there's a big, big problem with being an artist because I majored in painting and I paint. Ah, yes. You're a painter. Some painter yes, but comedian. not painting houses. Ah. Not painter like you build a house, you come in to paint your. I'll paint you to your house. <laughs> we do artworks, painting artworks. Good. Now, the problem with it is that. Most painters that are very well known that sell their goods very costly. Most of them are dead. You die, then you make costly paint. So, are you gonna? I'm not ready to die. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you gonna do? What's your solution to that? So, I decided to be an idiot. If Josie gives you money, then your paintings will be valuable. Maybe. That is that idiot painting. Next year, I'm going to be doing an exhibition. And that art exhibition is going to be a philanthropical, um, uh, a philanthropical bruhaha mm. in the Alai Lighty Pool Room, so mm. that it will have an omnigracious mm. interlude for what I can describe as the fragment of the imagination to make us have an emotional mm. upheaval. Exactly, say. that's the aim. <laughs> You're trying to confuse me. No, I'm trying I'm to confuse good. myself. <laughs> I confused. don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm happy with it. <laughs> you 
you know how artists do abstract artwork? Uh -huh. I just made abstract comedy. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, but like all jokes aside, you are a fantastic thinker. I've seen some of your work. And 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 Aberly, guess what guys? Uh, Clint the Drunk is also a gadget freak. Name, name the latest gizmo or gadget. What's what's your plea? I has it is not a uh, the issue. I uses it is what the issue is. Mm. You know, I like gadgets because it helps me to attain a level of easiness. Yes. yes. Mm. Let me explain it. That's the explanation. Ah, okay. <laughs> that sounds very complicated though. Yes. No, but actually check it. The truth is like most gadgets help you um, they help you to save time and energy. So that's now it's just like a lady that is cooking. I'm sorry, you know, I'm not trying to say that women are limited to the kitchen. Careful what you say. No, I'm not wait, what do you mean? I can even say it <laughs> I, and defend it. I host the show called Sister Sister. Thank you. Sister Sister, I host my own brother brother. Let me tell you. Well, do you know one thing I don't understand about women? Uh -huh. You people take pride in things that you don't know they are enjoying, but we pose it to you as if it is your right. And you know, you make we drag it with you so you can drag and make you feel yeah, it's your right. Like this thing they say, ladies first. We drag it and say, why must it be ladies first? We like ladies first. So Men love ladies first. Why? That's why we drag it with you so you can hold on to it. Yes. Why ladies first? Why not leave this first? It's meant to be ladies first so that the men can have a clear view of when you are in front, what do we see? Uh, the Brazilian weaves. That, no, who told you? <laughs> he looks up. Like, imagine ladies first, you're climbing up the stairs. I won't look up to your head. Oh, oh my God. The, the whatever. Glitious Maximus. Thank you. The back axle. <laughs> the Arsenal players. We will be seen. Mahogany. Mahogany. Thank you. <laughs> Clint the drunk. Yes, and I was saying something. Nice when I said something about sin and women. I know some people on the other side side feeling bad. Now let me show you something. I was arguing this thing with one lady. She said a woman's place is not in the kitchen. I said it's not your place. But you're meant to be going there. More often than a man. Now, let me tell you, let me ask you, ask the woman, please. If your child comes out and says, in front of all your friends and all the people that came to see you in a program, or like, let's say, having dinner or breakfast in the evening, mm -hmm. and then your child just comes out and says, my dad is the best cook in the world, how would you feel? Uh, happy. Happy. Yeah. Believe me, most women will not like it. <laughs> Just be truthful with your life. You will not like it. Okay. My father is the best cook in the world. My father cooks this. My father cooks that. My father can really cook. Just you will look and feel terrible. Really? Yes. Hmm. That's the truth. <laughs> is it? Yes, because of the society we are in. It also depends on, on what depends profession on your what husband profession does. Maybe your he's husband. a chef. No, I'm talking about randomly. How many husbands are chefs? <laughs> a lot, actually. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Okay, because in my village, it's only three. <laughs> and but they're divorced, right? No. <laughs> they're still together. The woman can't leave the man. And the man can't leave the woman. The man can cook in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. But the woman can cook in other places. Right. So are you married, Clint? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes you're not. No, I never said that. <laughs> How many kids? I have two boys, wonderful boys. They are two. That's why they are two in Rome. Two boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sometimes you find it difficult to be funny. Yes. Okay, that's a very exciting interview, isn't it? <laughs> Clint. You see, that time just came and passed. I found it so difficult to be funny. But I saw you laughing, I don't know why. 
Because you're just funny like that. I find it difficult to be funny sometimes, like when I'm sleeping. Yeah? You don't crack jokes in your dreams? Actually, I do. <laughs> there was a dream I had, a witch came to, to, you know this witchcraft thing in dream? I converted it to home video and I beat it, the witch, beat it and beat it. And we were all laughing in the dream. We laughed at the witch. And when I woke up, okay, it wasn't a dream. Hey. Nice. Yeah, it happened. Which I witch did you go and buy? A bit. <laughs> no, I was actually having the witch dream, but when I woke up, it was my friend that was beating. Ah, it wasn't your wife. No. What was your friend doing next to you? <laughs> well, you woke up next to your friend. Why are you catching me? Is this an <laughs> eyewitness news? This is not eyewitness news. <laughs> Because I do not witness. <laughs> Shy. Better go back to the gadget issue. Because oh. the the yeah. How do we find you on social networks? Okay, you, let I'm me hear tell your you. Twitter account got hacked. Is it true? Yes, they hack it. They use Zoho and Mallet and what do you hacks. They hack it, hack around everything. It's terrible. One idiot hack it. And don't worry, I'll catch the idiot. But the truth is this, the, the way to find me on social network is first of all, buy a phone or go to a cyber cafe. That's the first thing you have to do. Because if you don't do that, you can't go to the internet. Secondly, you decide where you want to find me. Is it on Twitter, Facebook, Tango, um, WeChat, Instagram, Kick. Instagram, Kick? The bucket, yeah, there's bucket and there's kick, and if you join them together, it's kick, kick the, the bucket. bucket. There's path. Uh -huh. So there are so many of them, but the normal one on Facebook, you can go to my page, Facebook page at Clint the Drunk, K L I N G D A Drunk K K. D A was. <laughs> okay, and, and how they find you on Twitter? On Twitter, I had to open a new one. It's not so popular. But I opened that one because the, the main one got hacked. I'm using at Mr. Clint right now. Mr. Clint is M I S T A K L I N T. And I have to spell that one. Yes. Because it's important to my life. Sorry. Yes. Mr. Clint, M I S T A K L I N. When you catch that hacker, what are you going to do? I'll hack him. What? With all the things he used to hack him, my account. <laughs> a mouse and a computer? That doesn't sound very exciting. What did I call earlier when I said he hacked you? <laughs> <laughs> Besides, I can, I can hack you with a mouse and a computer. And you would, you would prefer me to use an hack. Let me prove how I'll do it. Tell I'll me. lock him in a room and feed that room with 400 mice. Thank you. You see, you are even now pitching me. Well, I hate mice. Thank you. <laughs> and secondly, with the computer, very simple. I will hold the computer, raise it up, and allow it to land on him. That's what kind of computer. Believe me, nice. when you, I didn't say laptop. I didn't say I'm not even going to waste a modern day computer on it. <laughs> I'll use that Pentium one. <laughs> you know how heavy Pentium one heavy computer ones. is? They used to install it. <laughs> when I say install, I mean with bolts and screw. They install those things. In fact, to drop it on this guy, we need a cream. <laughs> true, very true. Well, it's all good. So so what's what's the rest of it here looking like? The rest of the year is looking like what the remaining numbers on the calendar. That's why it's looking. Okay, and it's looking good. You like that, what it looks like? Yes, I don't tell the future, but the present is looking wonderful. Tomorrow is looking good too. But next tomorrow, according to what I have planned, what I have planned is looking marvelous. Marvelous and very coalitious. What's your favorite gun in this? If I tell you this, you won't believe it. Tell me. 
Papa, go and clap. Pa, pa, pa. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Especially when you put slices of onions, tomato, green pepper. Oh my God. Pa, pa, pa. You know, I want you to say this. Pa, pa, pa. Repeat, repeat after me. Okay. Tantala la putele. Tantala putele. Pa, pa, pa. You know, I like it. Tantala la putele. You know it sounds it like Igbo language, bro. <laughs> Uh, what does that mean? That the small one is carrying it like this. Hey, untonto. Because that's Arab right? You know, that's even a word that we've corrupted. <laughs> you know what it means in Ghana, though? Like, if you did something really cool or really nice, someone would say, pa, 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 like, it's really good. And then they'll call myself, Tom, Tom, Tom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you, I want to learn more. I want to teach you how to speak tree. Thank you. Can you speak anything? I can tree anything. No. Anything will bring out tree. No, I mean tree, the Ghanaian tree. language tree. Yeah, tree and tree. It's chewable. <laughs> Say, um. Mepesemitim. Do you know what it means? If I knew, how will I say it? <laughs> how will I be learning it? Say it. I'll even add my own. Mepesemitum. Bankuni tilapia. Bankuni tilapia. <laughs> okay, well, it's it's pretty good. You're not bad. You should you should just move to Ghana. Just what the idea. You said you want to buy one going to Tilapia. I don't trust you. Oh, it's true. Okay. <laughs> the one you said before that, on the other hand, moves. Please, can you tell me what that It means like, um, how are you doing today? If it's mm-hmm. <laughs> then why would you laugh after I say my presentation? So, I'll end up teaching you Igbo language. Eh, uh, okay, I'm listening. Okay. <laughs> I can't even remember anyone. Good. <laughs> because it's one o'clock and I break. Okay, you need to go for a news break. Mm-hmm. That's your problem because I'm hijacking this station. You're not going anywhere. I am not living here. <laughs> then you read the business news with. The Believe me, if I read the business news, you not do business with anybody <laughs> again. <laughs> Cleanse the drug people on 97.3 City FM. We're just, I mean, chilling. You know, chilling on air. Um, coming up is a business news. Would you, would you want to stay a few more minutes? After business. I actually have business I wanted to go and do. Oh, then you should probably. Yes. You, we, we'd like to see you in December, though. In December? I mean, this month. In a couple of months. Because weeks. I wanted to find out which December again, because this is the December. Okay. You want it's to a December me? to remember. The remember to December. Yeah. The December. You December back on me. Something like that. Okay. Well, I will be happy to part them. Okay, sorry. I'll be party to happy with you in the hour. I'll be happy to party. I'll, I'll yes, love to come. <laughs> it's that simple. Charlie, thanks for passing. I'll speak to you. I'm speaking. <laughs> Clint's a drunk. Uh, Vivian Pettman is here to deliver the news, the business news. And Clint is summoning her into the studio. I, I, I like it. You're running commentary of everything I'm doing here. Because this is radio. People can't see. <laughs> Viv. Unless it's on YouTube. <laughs> Unless it's on YouTube. And she waves the camera. Right. I can't help but do that. So, so, go to us read the business news with you. Oh, lovely. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's start from. Give me one story to read. Okay. 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 Ah, this morning, okay, and your back. Okay. You start from the top of the script. Okay, this is Clint's reading business news. Please, if I call the name of your company, disregard. <laughs> Africa World Airline has told City Business News that to become the leading airline, began airline from Ghana. Hmm? Lagos from Accra <laughs> Business News, the Lagos and a crucial part of Afede 
happy year <laughs> this for this month. <laughs> On that note, we bring you the real news. <laughs> Get the details, every significant financial transaction, every market movement, and all.